Hi guys. Today we will analyze Eastman chemical stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock has been an average performer in the overall market. However, recent evolutions are not positive. The short-term trend is negative, the long-term trend is negative. There should be more interesting stocks out there. Strong support levels are around $84 and $70. Next strong support level is around $61. Strong resistance levels are around $93, $100 and $105. Next strong resistance levels are around $114 and $129. In the last month the stock has been trading between $85 and $106 range. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 1.2 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022. Be careful. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 4% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 9% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 131% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Eastman Chemical Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Eastman will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 6%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $49. Second scenario. Eastman will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 5%. Future profit margin would be average, 7%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $63. Third scenario. Eastman will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 6%. Future profit margin would be high, 8%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $80. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 6.07. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Eastman Chemical, analysts forecast growth rate around 5% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 9. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Eastman Chemical Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Eastman will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future PE would be low, 9. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $33. Second scenario. 
Eastman will have average performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 5%. Future PE would be average, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $48. Third scenario. Eastman will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 6%. Future PE would be high, 15. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $65. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $89, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. Both the profitability and the financial health of Eastman are neutral. Nothing too spectacular is happening here. Also, the stock is expected to show a small growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 5 to 6% yearly. Based on that, the stock looks overpriced at the moment. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022, and it can go lower, before it recovers. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend, when the stock drops to $70. Company Strengths Once a subsidiary of Kodak, Today Eastman Chemical Company is an American independent global specialty materials company, that produces a broad range of advanced materials, chemicals and fibers for everyday purposes. It has more than 50 manufacturing sites worldwide. Eastman has a solid portfolio of specialty products, and is exposed to various defensive markets, including agriculture and consumer staples, which will provide the company with some relief during difficult economic times. Eastman's coatings, adhesives, specialty polymers, Fluids and inks businesses generate solid operating margins. Along with the fibers segment, these businesses provide a relatively stable earnings base to offset swings in other areas. Eastman is well positioned to meet evolving chemical demands in auto window inner layers and tires, through its best in class patented products. Eastman's investments in plants, that use sustainable based feedstocks, including recycled chemicals and wood pulp, should benefit from growing demand for specialty plastics made from these feedstocks. Eastman's return on assets of 5%, return on equity of 14% and profit margin of 8% are in line with the rest of the industry. Risks The company faces risk from the cyclical nature of its commodity chemicals, and the volatility of its raw materials cost. As a middle cost player in many of its downstream chemicals, Eastman's profits are in danger of a narrowing oil gas spread. Eastman Chemical is exposed to supply shortages, especially in automotive industry. Construction is also a market that is likely to see a turnaround for the worse, if product availability continues to remain a problem, which it will for some years. If Eastman is not able to pass on higher costs to customers, its profitability will suffer. Eastman also holds a solid position in acetate dough, which is primarily used to make cigarette filters. The acetate dough industry has experienced falling prices, due to overcapacity in China over the past several years. As a chemicals company, Eastman faces a decent amount of environmental social and governance risks, primarily related to its carbon emissions, and the environmental impact of its products. The company produces chemicals from high sulfur coal, which expose it to potential emissions regulations, that could disproportionately affect Eastman over other chemicals producers that use only natural gas. The company has a high debt level. The acquisition of Solucia brought environmental liabilities from the legacy Monsanto chemical business at two sites. Under the settlement agreement with Bayer, Monsanto, Eastman will pay the first $325 million, then the two companies would split additional costs evenly. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 5% on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 9% on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.